So this, this non-native plant that we desperately want to keep looking pristine needs a lot of water. Yeah, well, I mean, if you grab the wrong grass or the wrong plant in the wrong place, then you're going to have to keep some water on it. You, just, you, you likely just have the wrong plant, the wrong grass. Put some buffalo grass out there. Put some bay grass out there. You won't need hardly any water at all. It may not look the way you want it to look, but if you're choosing either tall fest you or Kentucky bluegrass, and you're putting it in a desert where you don't have irrigation or you're restricted or you have affluent water and there's a lot of salts in it or whatever, that's probably not the right plant for that place. But choose the right plant. Choose the right turf grass rather than remove it. There's plenty of turf grasses that can grow very well with very little to no water. In fact, I posted a, video, uh, a picture on, YouTube, or on Twitter. This got to be four years ago, five years ago. If I'm not mistaken, it was uh, Latitude 36 out of Oklahoma State. And so nothing had water unless we manually put water. And some of the Bermuda grasses didn't do well. Some of the zoysias didn't do well. The Latitude 36 looked fantastic. So choose the right plant. Don't just say, well, these turf grasses, you know, we would desperately want to maintain them and you got to apply a lot of water to them if you have the wrong plant. But that's the case if you put the wrong tomato plant in the wrong place or the wrong cucumber or the wrong corn or whatever. It doesn't make a difference that it's turf. It makes a difference whether or not you chose the right plant.